Yo, what's up guys? We're back with another Honkai Star Wars video and today we're going to be talking about five tips that can help you utilize your Trailblaze power effectively once you hit TB level 40. The first thing you want to do is get your main DPSs to level 60. That is the first and foremost thing you want to do. Get all the materials needed to ascend them to 60, yada yada. And then you want to get their light cons to 60 as well. Whoever your main DPSs are at the time, preferably you want one or two, you know, one single target, one AoE, whatever your comps are. I'd recommend get at least for your main team getting your main dps to 60 and then light count to 60. then following suit you'll start to do your other characters but your supports can stay at 50 for like a little while while you're in tb40 and just focus on your dps's first because your supports are fully capable of helping out your dps's still at 50 with the light cons at 50 as well so don't worry too much about that tip number two is traces now for your traces, every character's traces are going to be prioritized completely differently. For the most part, your basic attack is not going to be touched up on much with most of your characters. That'll be the last thing you do for nearly all your characters. But in terms of the talent, the skill, and the ultimate, they're all going to be different priority depending on what the character is. Now the reason this is important with your traces is because look how much your traces scale by. For example, this one right here. 323 to 340. That's a pretty big scale. You know what I'm saying? I know it's level 5 to 6, but still. You want to get your traces sorted out because you may have all the relics, you may have all the ornaments, but about your traces leveled up for your characters, especially your DPSs, you're not gonna be doing anything. You know, for characters like Natasha, for healers, it's important, it's imperative actually, because with these, you can get more heals, you know? Characters like the protagonists, the fire protagonists specifically, you can get more defense out of your shit, you know what I'm saying? So it just makes sense to focus on your traces because they cost less trailblaze power. They only cost 10 per run on the level. And it just makes sense because again, they're easier to do. So definitely get your traces sorted out before your relics. That would be my opinion. After you get your characters to 60, tip number two is get your traces sorted out for all your characters. I'd highly recommend it. At least get them to where you want to be or at least a decent level that you're comfortable with to go into the simulated universe with. Tip number three. Now this sort of ties in with the traces a bit. When it comes to your Echoes of War, definitely look at your traces and see what you need. For example, here's a very good example. If I go to Jupard and I want to level up this trace right here, I need the Echo of War material from Everwinter Hill, from Kukulia. So obviously I'm going to prioritize that one if, oh, this week I'm focusing on Jupard's traces for a couple days. Okay, what can I do this week? Oh, hold on. I want this trace because it can get me extra energy when he revives with his talent. So I can do Kukulia this week and you only need two. So you don't even have to do all three Kikolia runs. You can only do enough to get that, and then you can look at another character. Oh, what does another character need? Because so far, it seems the only reason these Echoes of War materials are needed is for these big ones. At least so far. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're for anything else other than these big ones. And every character gets one, at, I believe, Ascension 2 or 3, Ascension 4, and then again at Ascension 6. So that's the good thing about these is you know what to prioritize every week if you just look into your characters and what you're going to be able to achieve. For example, if you know you're going to hit Trailblaze 40 in 24 hours and you haven't done your weeklies yet and you've still got another day to do your weeklies, your, your three Echoes of War matches, you can wait till you hit TB40 the next day and then you can farm them and get ready to use your Ascension 4 skill uh, leveled up, which is pretty pretty nifty. Next, I would prioritize the simulated universe ornaments. The reason being is because once you get to equilibrium level three, you can start getting five star ornaments from world three and up on every run. On every immersion reward, actually, you get a five star ornament. The reason I suggest this over relics first is because the main thing you're gonna be going for for a lot of your characters is this little thing right here. You're going to be going for your elemental damage boost. For not all of your characters, it depends on the character, but for most characters, you would be going for your elemental damage boost on your orb ornament, your planar sphere, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Who cares? You want to get your sphere's elemental damage boost for most of your characters or whatever the stat is on this. And because there's not much difference on the stats for these, there's like a couple other random stats you can get. For the most part, as you can see, you're going to get a lot of elemental damages on these. So it's a very good thing to prioritize farming these quite early on over your relics. Obviously, you will do your relics as well. But the reason I suggest those is because I like your relics, specifically the orbs, you have a higher chance of getting exactly what it is you're after. And to double up while you're going through these, whether you fail or succeed, guess what you get? Ability XP. So it's a win-win. You farm your ornaments, you get your ability tree maxed out along the way, which makes the simulated universe easier for you down the line. 
it's a win-win situation. You can't go wrong with farming in the simulated universe. And of course you get your score up as well, your weekly score, which gives you free stuff as well. So that's a win-win just in general. And that is tip number four. Tip number five is your relics. These are at the bottom of the barrel. And the reason being because these are RNG based on your five star relics specifically. Once you hit TB40, you can start farming five star relics, but you get one five star relic between the two relic sets per run of your cavern of corrosion. Whereas when you're farming for your character ascension materials, and you're farming for your light con materials, and you're farming for your trace materials, it's guaranteed you're gonna get the drops. There's no like, oh, am I gonna get this drop or that drop? You're guaranteed to get your drops. There's no reason not to prioritize these over your relics. Relics can definitely come after. And this one's a little bonus tip that has nothing to do with your trailblaze power. If you run out of trailblaze power for the day, obviously you see I haven't started yet for the day, but if you run out, start doing all your treasures on the map. If you're trying to get to TB50, so you can start getting more five-star relic drop RNG chances, there's no reason not to get every single chest on the map because unlike Genshin Impact, yes, I'm gonna throw a little stab there. This game tells you where every single basic chest is. And as you're exploring, you'll come across all the other chests in the area. There's just absolutely no reason not to grab every chest and every single map in this game, wherever you are in the game currently. There's just no reason not to. And there you have it, guys. There's five quick tips on how you should be spending your Trailblaze power once you reach TB40 or TL40, whatever you like to call it. If you think differently in terms of the order you should be spending it in, please let me know down below. This is the order I've done because it just makes sense. There's no reason not to do it in this order, honestly. And that's just my opinion. But if you feel differently, definitely let me know down below. I'm always open to discussion on this game. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully this helped you. Peace out.